old stuff up. The fat controller preferred steam engines on his railway, but he found diesels useful because they could pull either coaches or trucks. You're versatile, he would tell them. Real mixed traffic engines. Though so they were proud of this, but James was not impressed. He liked these two diesels, but he treated all others with deep suspicion. Diesel that use coal and water, he would say darkly. How can you trust an engine who isn't normal in his habits? Visiting Diesel sometimes boasted about how special they were. Usually, Boko and Bear had to spend the next day soothing Ruffles' feelings. One day, a particularly haughty Diesel came from the other railway. When the visitor found he had to share the shed with steam engines, he stood outside in disgust and refused to go any further. Why on earth does your controller keep such out of date objects? He growled rudely. Dirty, smelly, slow things. Ugh, he shuddered delicately. On my railway, the diesel continued mockingly. Steam engines are kept strictly in their place and not allowed on the mainline without special permission. Boko, who was shown the diesel round, lost patience. Stay outside if you're so proud about it, he said crossly. I am going to join my friends. I hope it's cold tonight and he can't start in the morning, snorted James. At least someone might want to preserve us. Oh, need him, old stacker. The engines were glad when morning came. They went to fetch their trains as early as they could, and the visitor was left alone. That's better, he purred to himself. How can an engine rest with all that hissing and clanking? The cleaning equipment and fuel supply were in the part of the shed that both and Bear shared. Old Stuckup was so full of self-importance that he'd forgotten he would need cleaning and refueling before he went home. It was getting late when he remembered. The shed is empty, he thought. If I go in now, no one will know I've been. He scuttled forward quickly. Too quickly. The barrels where both and Bear had stood were oily, and when the visitor tried to stop, he couldn't. Break blocks and buffers, I'm slipping! He wailed as his wheels were locked and slithered. He shut his eyes, and with a despairing roof of horror, he crashed into the wall at the end of the shed. The diesel was not badly damaged, but a dreadful draught came through the hole in the wall. When the other engines came home, they heard a story from Douglas, who would help clean up the mess. Ho ho ho! George old Henry. Old stuck up came unstuck, did he? I say, Boko, what is it that the fat controller calls you? Versatile, chuckled Boko. But that isn't what he called stuck up. I couldn't hear all he said, but I didn't think it sounded very polite.